Why, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome back to Car Stuff. So today I am going to be putting in my intake air temperature sensor, which is located in one of these pockets. Oh, that's not it. This is it right here. Hopefully the camera will zoom in on this. But it's a GM style open element intake air temperature sensor. And now what I did on my last car is I put it on the intake piping side. But on this car, I'm most likely going to put it in the plenum somewhere. I'm liking this area, well, even this area right here. This has already been coated in a heavy oil. Um, normally you would do this before, <laughs> well before you put on the intake manifold because you really don't want uh, aluminum particles floating around your engine. That's why I coated it in oil to catch a lot of them and I'll go really slow. Back in this nice heavy oil. that up and that is a no-go I don't know if you remember, I said I was going to hook up the temperature sensor for the gauge to a, a random wire, not a random, but a wire that I'm not going to be using and then connect it back through on the other end. So I'm not using all of my spark output, so I'm going to use spark H.
as you can see at the resistors tapped into the wires and then I have my 5 volt reference that's going to be feeding into them. As you can hopefully see, everything's taped up. Got my power. I'll just pull this down so you can see a little bit better. This harness connector for the intake air temperature sensor. All my connectors are on the front, the cast plug right here. Ground. Once I clean all of this crap off, I'll uh, most likely put this here and then run another ground from here to the block. coils and we have our plug for our fuel injectors idle valve TPS And then I'm going to do knock sensors next. And then from there, I am going to do the alternator. And because it's a weird kind of like escalate alternator, I'll have to wire it into the mega squared a specific way so that it will charge and not uh, go into fail safe. So once I get this harness in the car, that's when I'll put all of the protective uh, wrap or whatever this stuff is called around it. But I need to make sure that it works 100% before I do that. Thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to like and subscribe.